Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick one. So I've got this Heltec V3. This is actually running the MeshCore firmware. So MeshCore is an off-grid mes messaging system. It uses LoRa on 868 megahertz. In, well, in the UK and Europe at the very least. In other countries, that'll be different. This isn't transmitting, so there's no harm taking the antenna off briefly so I can actually show you it. So this is the antenna in question. This is a Paradar 868 megahertz antenna. You can get these from Amazon. It is clearly marked for 868 megahertz, so you know it is for that. So you don't accidentally screw it into the back of your Wi-Fi router, although this is just standard SMA and most Wi-Fi routers use our PSMA, which swaps which side the pin is in. That's the simplest way to explain that. So this was just sat on top of my my curtain rail in my bedroom, like the middle of the flat and the highest point in which I could put it. It hadn't received anything. However, because someone untethered a helium balloon with a mesh core repeater on it, it started receiving packets and therefore the channel, the public channel, started to fill up with chatter. And this actually did propagate quite well. I think some people were hearing things from this balloon better than I was. I did try to ping the balloon repeater, but it timed out. So this is the contacts list from that hour when I was receiving. That's pretty much it. And the last item here, Nismo 3.0, that one's actually somewhere near London. Or, well, it's in that general direction anyway. I'm not sure how close to London it actually is. But I know it's in that direction. So, mesh core. It's, like I say, it's off-grid. It's actually quite secure by all accounts. Because it's end-to-end -end encrypted from what I understand. So you can send your messages on a private channel if you set one up. And it will not be visible to anybody apart from the person you're sending it to or the channel you're sending it to or even direct message to, to somebody. That would not be visible. This is running companion radio firmware. A repeater would run separate firmware, which would run on this, but this is running as a companion radio for use with the app on a mobile phone. The repeater firmware is a different firmware that you would install onto a repeater and you would just leave it, but you can actually remotely administer it from the MeshCore app or one of the more popular devices used for MeshCore, which is the LilyGo T-Deck. I don't have a LilyGo T-Deck, but I am thinking of getting one some point in the future once I start fully exploring things like MeshCore. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. And if you want to check out more on MeshCore, you can check out Andy Kirby's YouTube channel. And also, if you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And you can ring the bell to be notified about new videos as I put them up. Or you can even chip in a bit towards helping the channel, either by buying me a coffee or sending me a super thanks. Or something like that. And... There'll be plenty more coming up, so I've got more to do on the Quancheng TK11. Like I say, there'll be some of MeshCore coming up as well. Because now, I've, now I've decided I'm going to have a look at that. I'm definitely going to be looking at it now after the balloon. <laughs> and this is going to go back where it lives. So I will catch you in the next one. And 7-3 for now. Okay, a bit of bonus extra footage. So the node's back in position now. I've connected it up to a power bank just to get the battery charged up a bit. So you can see this is exactly where it was last night, more or less. The antenna's vertical like that. There is a wall in the way which doesn't really help, but this is where it was when it started receiving things. It, like I said, it did take me by surprise. <laughs> It was uh, 7 o'clock at night and I uh, was expecting people to probably be, be uh, watching TV or stuff like that. But no, obviously somebody had decided 
to let a balloon loose. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave that there and see if it keeps going. It's on my alleged 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. I don't believe that is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank, even though I did get it from uh, from B and M. But you never know. But it is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank according to the markings on the front and what was on the box when I bought it, which was uh, quite some time ago. So it probably has lost a bit of capacity. It was, that was originally connected to an 8,000 milliamp hour alleged power bank, but that's actually run out. Anyway, I'm going to leave that and I will catch you in the next one. 7-3 for now.